I kind of had to park for some morning light. Um, didn't get a great night's sleep last night. Um, the clocks went forward over the weekend, an hour, so that kind of changes things as well. And, um, so technically I got, got up at 6 a.m. instead of 7. And so it may take a bit of time to adjust to the new sort of bedtimes and getting up because of the clock change. Um, there are lots of thoughts today about writing and um, about perhaps thoughts of giving it another try or going back there and I kind of um, saw them as like habitual thoughts just because of um, that's what I the kind of thoughts I've had for, for so long, so many years so it's understandable um, It does feel strange not to feel strange to consciously let go of writing now. Um, as a, as a, it's different to where for a day, you know, if I felt too unwell to write, and I think, okay, let's just forget about writing. I know part of my mind knows it's just temporary. It's just, you know, I haven't, but now it feels a bit more permanent. Um, so it does feel a bit sort of a little bit overwhelming or scary just to think about how to spend today and how I'm going to cope with uh, without this sort of focus. Um, I'll have certain things I can do um, where I don't have to necessarily find something new to try and um, fill the time or purpose to discover. I feel like I can try and work with what I have. So, for instance, in the morning, you know, nothing's changed with just getting out and exercising and um, getting some morning light to help with the serotonin and body clock and stuff. Um, and I've kind of decided that <clears throat> when I get back inside, you know, maybe I'll have a cup of coffee, you know, treat myself to a cup of coffee see how my stomach reacts to it and try and slowly introduce things um, like I had some like falafel yesterday and in the evening I had um, beans on toast or something uh, that um, fortunately my stomach hasn't reacted to so um, so before I try some coffee this morning because I'm really tired and I'm going to listen to some more of the frequency music. It's like a, some of it's subliminal, some of it's frequency um, that a friend gave me. So I'm really going to um, try and listen to that this morning and make that sort of part of my sort of morning routine. Um, um, and then the rest of the day is kind of open. Um, um, I'm going to do some cooking today that's going to be one of the sort of activities of focus today um, maybe I can call that an engaging activity to do um, to, to kind of make that process like a with all my attention with the cooking um, so there's that um, it may be an urge to maybe to write some poetry um, and something I may experiment with to see how I do with if I'm able to you know, do that sort of writing in a way that doesn't uh, doesn't challenge my mental health or add any stress to it. So um, over the months where I've kind of picked up poetry again, I've, I've kind of written it um, spontaneously, and when the feelings or words arise, it's not a case where I've been sort of sitting at my desk each day waiting for poetry to come or hoping to, to come. And, lots of stress of working on that craft of poetry and, and expectations of projects. So it's completely um, inferior. It feels like it's completely separate from the whole novel writing thing. So and maybe it'll still be something I can enjoy and an outlet for me. So I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to pull up the poems from the movie Patterson. Um, that's what originally sort of re-sparked my uh, 
desire to write poetry again. So, and there's a YouTube video where um, somebody's collated with like the poetry readings from the movie. So that might be nice to watch and then to write some poetry afterwards to kind of get that spark. And then, so that's something, an activity today as well. Um, I've got the cooking, um, I've got the frequency music. Um, um, I think maybe I'd also like to throw in, <laughs> throw in a, maybe some, you know, body stretching or just some kind of attention to my body, whether it's stretching or a little bit of qigong maybe, um, some sort of therapy or healing for the body might be nice. And that could be something I try and build on. Um, will be nice someday to kind of um, have some more exercise and maybe a space a bit more um, mental space for me to sort of try and work that in um, um, so today I might do some of that and do some really simple things you know, just do you know a few press-ups or a few um, like very slow conscious sort of exercise um, I don't have to break a sweat necessarily. Um, just some, just some movement, and that will think that will help. If I'm not going to probably be heading out today for a big walk, um, which doesn't look like at the moment, um, I'll have to kind of maybe process and plan that in of how that's going to be. Because nat it kind of naturally fell in with writing. Like I'd walk to like a, a library that was further away and get the walk in and do that. But now I may have to kind of re sort of. Um, reassess that perhaps um, and then, yeah maybe cooking I can do maybe in the early afternoon so I can break it up a little bit so I can do the cooking I can sort of do the last bit of it just before the evenings you know, so I can maybe not have to do it all at once um, I think coming out for the afternoon for another walk would be good um, Maybe I'll do a little bit of a different walk. There is a, a residential sort of route that I've taken before where it involves a couple of steep hills, a bit more of a workout, and maybe it'll give me a chance to um, a change from um, walking in the park as well, as I come here a lot, so maybe that will give me a change. Um, yeah, so some things today I'm going to see how this day goes I feel like as I mentioned before it's a kind of with these new circumstances it's just discovering what works and making adjustments and, um, um, and seeing how things go but it feels like sort of the activities I've mentioned and, and maybe there's a balance there of sort of self-care and there's a balance maybe of something engaging with the cooking and poetry and you know, even the exercise, that maybe there's something I can do where obviously I include sort of a certain amount of presence with that practice can kind of obviously um, uh, sort of envelope and everything that's I'm doing in a day. So that's obviously a big practice as well. To each of these things I do today is to do it with um, well, it's listening to frequency music at some um, I guess in some ways not to be too heavy about it but that could be a bit more of a sort of purpose for my days at the moment you know around sort of being present which um, with healing and I think I think activities from it will kind of be there to assist me you know when I'm thinking of it from that place so I'm not just thinking about my day in a disconnected way it'd be more um, yeah there'll be some sort of connection intelligence there that I'm sort of connecting to that will help um, so I feel like the activities today um, kind of align with that so that's good um, um, if, I, if I get tired because on day sometimes when I don't um, don't get a great sleep uh, probably in the last like, few days sometimes I've had a lie down so that could be you know keep things flexible I can do that as well um, yeah and, and I'll see how 
how I feel this afternoon for getting outside. Um, um, maybe before rush hour I can sort of do that sort of residential walk where I have to cross like a really sort of busy road so um, and maybe there'll be less people out and about before kind of um, work and schools and things like that sort of um, you know, people you know, cars flooding the streets <laughs> at that time so um, so that's yeah that's the plan for today um, yeah, so it's important to just recognise how I'm feeling. So I'm feeling a bit apprehensive and feeling a bit like, can I do this? So, um, yeah, just taking one thing at a time and um, seeing how I feel with it as well. So even though I've got some ideas set up, but um, just to, I need to be a bit mindful and aware that I'm not an activity I'm doing. It's not uh, being detrimental um, to me. So you can keep that in mind as well and be flexible. Um, I'm grateful to clear day today as well, sun's out. And, um, that always sort of lifts the mood as well, having a bit of, a bit of extra light. Um, Yeah, in the evening time, I think I'm just going to maybe watch a film and probably try and do it in a mindful way as well and um, build up that routine to like a regular regular bedtime. Um, so, yeah, so it feels like the areas of the days I've got, you know, something kind of, um, like this morning, a bit of relaxation, frequency, some coffee, in the afternoon, some cooking, maybe a walk and some body awareness, poetry and evening um, yeah just try and maybe relax wind down um, maybe watch something as well um, the evening before I watched uh, Mrs Doubtfire which I really uh, remember watching as a kid and it's a really nice movie to watch you know, it's nice to watch Robin Williams and, and there was knowing what happened to him it uh, sort of appreciate the movie a bit more that was in the back of my mind as I was watching so maybe I could find something nice to watch again that will sort of um, be fulfilling to watch and to make a, um, something more than just sort of a uh, any sort of TV show or regular movies maybe something that has a bit more substance would be nice yeah so Yeah, I'm just going to upload this, enjoy some more sunlight and yeah, see how the day goes.